order is imminent guys welcome back to another episode and we are so close to getting side order it's probably going to be in this month so we got to go into even more detail on the trailer we already have for it and figure out if there's anything there that we missed so i'm going to go through the whole thing and figure out everything that we possibly could have missed make sure to subscribe to the channel i know you guys can do it and i know that you're not subscribed right now so consider doing that and we will jump into the video so starting out we actually did get a couple leaks um that i have not shown yet um we got this weird leak list here um and it has a new enemy that i was not informed of it is zacko zacko standard or zacko standard um, it could be pronounced either way, so it seems weird with that kind of stuff. And, uh, it says S-D-O-D-R, which is probably short for side order. Um, it's probably that, and we also have a leak that says, uh, Deca Tower, which is just the Tower of Splatoon 2's main area. Um, that just makes sense. So, yeah, moving on to the pictures now from the trailer that I analyzed for you guys. So, number one, the trailer that we got was very full of trailers and stuff or of pictures and stuff and uh it was very interesting what i found and there are a couple that no one's talked about apparently as far as i can tell that i wanted to show so starting off with the first picture so the first picture renders our main character holding two things uh looks like a spider shot looking weapon in one hand and a auto bomb probably that is just folded up in the other they do not have an ink tank on their back, which is very interesting, and they have some sort of color thing, colorful thing on their hip. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It could be the ink tank. Uh, the weapon looks like it has a armrest on the back of it, kind of like a sniper. Uh, it could be a sniping weapon or a long-range shooter, just like in the vote. I'm not exactly sure. And then next, we have this picture of our main character down below. Looks like probably in the subway area. There is some black and orange ink, and also some white coral coming up. Not exactly sure what any of this is, but it probably makes sense that our boss is leaking stuff up from the ground and going up into Inkopolis Square. The next picture renders our main character on a small little island looking thing, surrounded by black ink, and they have got their hand on their chin, and they look pretty bored or upset about something. And also, it has these black spikes and pink veins or vine looking things. I think the veins or vines could be leaking down from wherever the boss is and uh, could be connected to it in some way. And the black spikes are probably just uh, part of the background. I don't know if they have any meaning, but it's still interesting. And then next we have this door, which is probably an elevator at the bottom of Decca Tower and is leaking out black ooze, uh, probably from the boss as well. I've been saying for a while now that we need some black ink in Splatoon, and I hope we get it in Turf War, but probably not. It's very interesting. I think it could be a giant squid of some sort. This picture is very interesting, I think, just because the glasses that Pearl is wearing could also be the type of glasses that uh, Callie was wearing that hypnotized her. Probably not, but, you know, you gotta go into every detail. We have here our main character looking at some light, or just looking at a window. Uh, outside of an elevator, probably uh, the Evil elevator we'll be using to go through all the courses, and there are some buttons on the wall indicating that this probably is an elevator. The interesting thing is the buttons are on the inside of an elevator, so this is probably the inside of the elevator. This one's very interesting, as it is very dark and hard to see, but there does appear to be two yellow eyes, and uh, they cut off the top, which is probably something else, uh, goopy up there, and it is very interesting. I don't know what it is, but I definitely see two yellow eyes, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a different frame I found. Here we have our character again looking into the camera, very sad or upset about something, and probably bored too, as it looks like they've been here for a while, sitting in some black ooze, and they probably have been here for a while because you wouldn't sit down if you're on a mission to defeat someone. Here is the picture I was talking about, whereas we have a reflection of somebody uh, it's got two orange eyes and a pointy ear, very similar to the frame we saw before with that goopy blob that was in the dark. And it is not our main character, you can tell because the pants and the shoes or socks that they are wearing are not the same as the white suit we've been seeing. 
kind of looks a little bit like Agent 3 from Story Mode, but I don't think it is, just considering that the reflection has some orange on it, it probably is our villain, or main villain. Moving on to our next one here, looks like we have some sort of blob brown monster looking thing, the red eye, I think it's probably a fish of some sort, but it could be a turtle head, uh, like a snapping turtle, and we just can't see the shell because it's not in the picture, and that could be our shell enemy that was leaked. Very possible, but also very not possible. Here we have something that looks a little bit like the rendering of a course, also with that bright light. I'm beginning to think that it's probably uh, either a large window or an entity of light that is leading us through all of this. It's possible, but I'm not exactly sure, or the light could just be for a cool effect for the picture. Definitely looks like a course though, and uh, probably inside Decca Tower. Here is my favorite one. Obviously we have our main character in an elevator looking out, but if you look over in the corner, there is a shoe, and the shoe is that of Marie's shoe. It has the exact same look, whereas the bottom of it is green. It goes up to black part of the shoe, has a little circle on the side that is green in it. You can't see the green in the circle, but there's a circle there. It goes up in the same way, and then the pants leg there is green, same Marie green that we always know. It's definitely Marie. If I'm wrong, then I will play the worst weapon in Splatoon for a day. No. Yeah. Like, seriously, I am almost certain that that is Marie's shoe. Here we have a rending, rendering of the elevator, it says probably 1011 on there, indicating that this is uh, maybe floor 11 or sub level 11. I'm not sure why it says 1011. It could just be something else like E or something for elevator and then 11. This could be floor 11, but it looks like we're underground just below ground level. As you can see, the window and the grass outside of the window that is reflecting onto the wall through shadow. It's probably just one level below, which means we probably have 11 levels to work through, or one sub-level after 10 levels. It's hard to say. And that is all the information I could get out of that. Of course, we have a lot of leaks and stuff that we've talked about, and we have gone through everything we possibly can for this and I'm really excited for when it comes out and I think September's Direct is going to hold our new trailer which we will just have to destroy and eat up every bit of that that we can but until then I'll see you guys on the next one later guys